and welcome to this special program. I'm Makiko Tsuda. Initiatives to help societies go carbon free with no reliance on fossil fuels for energy is a growing trend worldwide. Measures to combat global warming may lead to structural shifts in industry, but many say they could also lead to economic growth. Now, a number of Japanese companies are stepping up to the challenge, and on today's show we focus on two a storage battery maker and a marine transport company. The amount of energy produced from renewable sources such as wind, solar, geothermal and biomass has been rising every year. It's now nearing 30% of total energy usage. But to further raise that percentage, there are certain issues we need to overcome. Carbon neutral is an idea that's being talked about widely now. Basically, it can be achieved by reducing CO2 emissions. Generally speaking, electricity is quite difficult to store and needs to be generated according to peak demand. That results to a certain extent in excess supply and also adds to CO2 emissions. But with storage batteries, it becomes possible to store that electricity. Another point is that with renewable energy such as wind and solar, when electricity can be generated varies depending on whether the wind is blowing or the sun is out. If these issues can be resolved, storage batteries may be key to helping us realize a carbon-free society. We visit one company looking to be at the forefront of a battery revolution. NGK Insulators is based on the outskirts of the Japanese city of Nagoya and promises innovative battery storage solutions. Large capacity storage batteries called NAS batteries. They're called NAS because of the elements that are used to make them. Look, they're huge over there. Tomio Tamakoshi works at NGK's energy storage division. So these batteries, how much uh, electricity can they supply? Yeah, this battery is a 1.2 megawatt battery and uh, it can deliver, deliver the uh, electricity for, for around 800 households. See, and it doesn't look that big for, yeah. compared to what it can supply, I suppose. Yeah, it is nice. very compact. So, it sounds interesting. Is it possible to look inside? Yes, of course. <laughs> oh. So, we spent around, around 10 years to, to develop this technology. And uh, at the beginning that uh, we developed this technology with Tepco, Tokyo Electric Power Company. So do other companies make these batteries? No. Uh, so uh, at this moment, only NGK produced this technology, this battery. But uh, uh, at the beginning, the, uh, a lot of the company is uh, developing this technology to use for the EV. But the, uh, only NGK uh, exists and uh, our purpose of the technology is to uh, uh, store the electricity in a large capacity. They work via a chemical reaction between sulfur acting as a positive electrode and sodium as a negative. The energy density of NAS batteries is approximately three times that of lead acid batteries. They have a long service life, allowing for stable electricity supply for an extended period of time. Overturning the conventional notion that it's not possible to store large amounts of electricity stably, NGK insulators dramatically expanded the applications of storage batteries. NGK now supplies batteries to 200 locations around the world, operating in such places as Reunion Island, Italy, and the United Arab Emirates. We spoke with NGK Insulators President Shigeru Kobayashi about NAS batteries. There are two characteristics. One is it's, uh, the capacity is very large, and also the duration. Uh, discharge duration, uh, we have six hours. How uh, are NAS batteries used uh, best? 
Um, it really fits with uh, renewable energy. So if you want to uh, aim for carbon-free society, you need uh, the batteries like NAS. That's what we believe. See, I see. And what, what made it possible for only your company to actually commercialize those batteries? Um, there's many people who have uh, uh, made uh, research for the NAS batteries, but we succeeded uh, because we made this kind of ceramics called beta lumina tubes. So it's a very special ceramics which only we can produce. You know. That's why we are in the business for, uh, for 19 years right now. 19 years may have felt like a long time, but NGK has a long history. NGK was founded in 1919, originally aiming to uh, make insulators domestically. At that time, uh, we, uh, Japan was importing uh, insulators from, mainly from the United States in order to uh, decrease the uh, import, and uh, we need uh, insulators domestically. And secondly, uh, we di diversify uh, to the many ceramics uh, products, and uh, particularly uh, we are making the, this kind of uh, ceramics which uh, exhaust, uh, remove the exhaust gas from the trucks and the automobile. And uh, we are the one of the two uh, largest suppliers in the world, probably having around, probably your car may have our product too. You know? NGK has also developed a technology called sub-nano ceramic membranes. They can separate specific molecules and gases. The membranes can reduce carbon dioxide emitted into the air during natural gas production. Uh, we have diversified to the electronics field and also to the, uh, trying to um, diversify to the carbon neutral uh, products using like a ceramic emblem. Despite the advancements, challenges for storage batteries remain. There's ongoing management and maintenance, and batteries are often limited to specific sites, such as electrical substations. To help put storage batteries in more places, NGK is turning to zinc and a unique ceramic separator to create rechargeable batteries that it says are safe to be installed indoors. We are only in a research and development time at this moment, but this battery is uh, using uh, only non-flammable uh, materials, so it can be used inside, you know, uh, inside a building, inside a school, it can be used anywhere with a very compact size. And take a look at this. It's a small and thin storage battery that's also lightweight and bendable. It still uses NGK ceramic technology, but it's small enough to fit almost anywhere, like on wearable technology or on individual consumer products. And this has implications for the so-called Internet of Things. The potential for IoT with this type of technology seems almost limitless. I believe wearables will become widespread across society in the future. You could call it an IoT society, an age when various devices will communicate over networks. It won't be limited to devices wired to power sources, but also extend to mobile devices such as smartphones, which can be carried around and access all kinds of information remotely. So, storage battery technologies will be indispensable. Like these applications using extremely small secondary batteries, still in development, wine labels with an inbuilt sensor. Their data can prove the bottle was transported at the correct temperature for the perfect drink. Or if you're worried about security, these biometric credit cards have an inbuilt battery to power fingerprint readers. And these shoes have sensors that collect and send data on your movements to fitness tracking smartwatches. All powered, of course, by small batteries. 
In the future, such batteries could be charged wirelessly through solar and other energy harvesting sources. Based on that technology, NGK is also jointly developing an air quality sensor system with Renaissance Electronics that can operate in outdoor locations without needing to be plugged into the mains or having its battery replaced. So we are now collaborating around 300 companies how to be used uh, as a, you know, in the societies. I think this can be used anywhere, like inside a car, and you, have, you can reduce uh, wire harness uh, cables. You know. And there's no cable, you don't need a cable see, at that time. NGK says it has plans to develop other technologies based on its ceramics that work with hydrogen, methane, methanol, e-fuel, and other future energy sources. So, where is all this leading NGK insulators in the future? Uh, we wish to contribute to the society by uh, by using our unique ceramic technologies. And uh, I think we can do it because we have been doing this for 102 years. And uh, we have a potential uh, technologies already. So my dream is that we used to, um, I wish my company can uh, really uh, solve the uh, social issues by using our products. That's my dream. That's the future, according to NGK Insulators. And as we've shown in the report, energy storage systems look set to play a vital role in helping us achieve a carbon-free society.